you guys doing tonight? Good. You're good. I am a teacher in the daytime. Give it up for that. Yay. Any other teachers in the house? Good. Fuck those kids. Uh, fuck, <laughs> fuck your kids. Fuck my kids. Uh, <laughs> yes, I taught fourth grade for 13 years. And uh, during the pandemic, for a little treat, uh, they switched me to kindergarten. Yeah, what the fuck? Uh, Five-year-olds should not be allowed on Zoom, ever, ever. It should be illegal, right? Because um, I would be, like, I don't know. I don't have children of my own. I don't know what to do with a five-year-old, right? So I'd be on Zoom, and I'd be trying to teach them, you know, and, like, one little boy would be like, uh, Miss Clark, excuse me, but why do you have an ashtray on your desk? I'm like, hey, bitch, mind your fucking business, okay? It's for my snack later, okay? I didn't say anything about those newspapers for curtains at the background of your house, right? Because you're poor, David, and I kept it to myself, right? That's what adults do, right? <laughs> Every Friday, I would have show and tell, right? I'd make the kids find something in their house that they wanted to show everybody, right? They had 60 seconds to find it, right? And all the other teachers were like, please, Erica, don't do this. Please don't, this is gonna go badly. But I'm like, no, it'll be all right, right? So they'd go and they'd show me like a baseball hat or their favorite book. Last show and tell, before we went back in person, this one girl, Chelsea, she's taking forever. And I'm like, come on, Chelsea, your 60 seconds is up. And she's like, hold on, wait a minute, I found it. And she comes to the screen and she's holding up a credit card an American Express card. And I was like, oh my God, Chelsea, is that your dad's credit card? And she was like, yeah. I was like, turn it around. Oh, uh, good <laughs> shit, Chelsea. I was like, do you know your zip code? No, find an envelope, okay? Thank you. <laughs> but I went back in person for the last month of school, right? And I, I'm the only black teacher at the school I teach. I teach at an all white school. Um, you guys are looking at me like it's, it's not called the all white school, it's not white academy, you know, but it is just me and the janitor, right? It's just me and Leroy, right? And I, <laughs> I really enjoy teaching young kids, especially young white kids. Like I teach them like horrific things that are going on in the news and scare the fuck out of them. And like, because fuck it, they need to learn about this shit. So, you know, I was telling them about things that were going on in the news, I was telling them about the George Ford case, and I know that they're kids, so I make it, you know, very easy for them to understand. But I would ask them, what should we do about certain things? And if you ever ask a five-year-old about what we should do about world events, you are gonna get the scariest responses you've ever heard in your life. Like I said, okay, class, we have a problem with racism in America. What should we do about it? And this little girl raised her hand and she was like, I have an idea. We should send all racist people to Antarctica without their coats on. I was like, what the fuck? You're talking about murdering people. What the fuck is wrong? I like where you're going, but God damn. Like, I have to check my tweets. Jesus Christ, right? <laughs> I enjoyed being like home during the pandemic. I would order so much shit off Amazon just to like, have somebody stop by, you know? And I would order a lot of groceries, right? I used Instacart. Do you guys use Instacart? Yeah, yeah good, right? If you don't know what Instacart is, Instacart is a grocery app, right? So you select a grocery store, you select your groceries, they give you a personal shopper and they deliver your groceries in two hours. It's a fantastic app if your personal shopper is a woman. <laughs> I don't give a fuck if you say, oh, you're being sexist, tweet about it. I don't give a fuck, right? The app only works if your shopper is a woman. If a man's name pops up, delete the app. Return your phone back to Verizon, right? Because I'm gonna tell you what happened to me, right? Two weeks ago. Because like, if the personal shopper is at the store and they can't find what you've selected, they will text you while they're in the store. Everyone knows what I'm talking about. So two weeks ago, I get a text message text message. It said, hey, Erica, this is Barb, your personal shopper. I wrote back, hey, Barb, how you doing? She goes, not, not too bad, can't complain. I'm like, me either, right? She said, I'm at the grocery store, and I cannot find Ben and Jerry's chocolate fudge browning. I said, oh, right? But she said, I did find Briar's chocolate ice cream with fudge bits. My husband loves it, and I think you will too. Should I get it? I was like, fuck yeah, Barb. Get that shit, right? And when you drop it off, have some with me, right? You sold the fuck out of that Ben and Jerry's. Do you work for them? 
like, what the fuck, right? <laughs> Not Dwayne. <laughs> Last week, Dwayne couldn't find shit at the grocery store. Not a motherfucking thing at the grocery store. He's gonna text me, yo, E, what up? I'm like, who the fuck is this? I was like, who is this? He like, it's Dwayne, your shopper. I'm like, oh, what's good, nigga? Like, since we talking like that, right? Like, what's up, nigga? How you doing, right? He's like, I'm at the grocery store. I can't find no bottle of water, right? And I was like, you can't find no bottled water or they don't have no bottled water? He wrote back, nah. What the fuck, what question are you answering? He like, I think this store got looted. When the fuck did it get looted? I'm like, is it getting looted right now? I'm like, are people running past you or are they paying? And if they looting, get that shit, right? Drop it off. All right, I was Erica Nicole Clark. Thank you so much.